Well, hello, welcome, good afternoon, everyone. Um, what a great day this is. I wanna welcome you to the Boneyard Creek groundbreaking. And with us today, I'd like to do a little introductions. First of all, we have Mayor Laurel Pressing with us, uh, Council Member Dennis Roberts, um, Urbana Public Arts Commission Chair, Pat Salmon, uh, we also have other council members, uh, Diane Marlin, and I'm trying to see if I've missed anyone else. Um, we have members of the engineering uh, firm, Foth, uh, Wank out of Colorado couldn't be here today, uh, members of the construction company, uh, staff members, uh, members from Champaign County Design and Conservation Foundation, uh, residents, property owners, businesses, interested citizens uh, welcome here today. My name is Bill Gray. I'm the Public Works Director and City Engineer. It's my pleasure to welcome you today on behalf of the city to kind of commemorate the resurrection uh, in the life and beauty of the Boneyard Creek. You know, since the early settlers of the 1830s, this creek or stream has been tributary to the salt saline branch and it was used uh, for life-sustaining purposes but as time went on and the cities grew of course some inevitable issues and problems came with that namely flooding and pollution and things of that sort and there's been various initiatives through the years to try to address those matters um, I'd like to credit former engineer Ralph Wilson who wrote a history of the Boneyard Creek, and he chronicalized a lot of those initiatives through the years. And those efforts really start back to the 1927 and the Loman Plan. And there were other efforts over time, and today we have such um, projects that have occurred in Champaign and on the university to address flooding now, to kind of tame the Boneyard, if you will. And we've also made great strides and as, as I see Mark with the sanitary district with pollution prevention through the years too. But now we wanna take the creek back more to its natural form and make it more of an amenity or kind of like a park that um, we could all enjoy as a community. So we've waited a lot of years for this date and, um, and it's been helpful for this day to occur with the benefit of financing, namely tax increment financing which is paying for the lion's share of this project. But we also received a very generous donation from the Champaign County Design and Foundation Group too. So in these efforts and with the support of uh, all of you today and input into the design here, uh, I think we all can take pleasure into this project. Some of the components of this project um, the elements include not only the beautification of the Boneyard, but also improvements to Ray Street, the Ray Street Bridge, and some beautification along the Broadway Avenue uh, to the east here. Um, at this time, and as part of our ceremonial groundbreaking, I'd like to uh, again introduce Mayor Laurel Pressing, as she has a few words that she'd like to share with you all. Laurel? Thank you very much, Bill, and thank you all for coming. Uh, a lot of cities have seen the value of beautifying a waterway, and um, don't you think that Urbana can do better than barbed wire? <laughs> so this is gonna be a gorgeous project. Um, we're gonna spend almost $8 million, and uh, I think you're gonna find it well worth it. Um, this is something that will be enjoyable for people to walk along or, or bicycle along and also it'll be great for the businesses along here because people really enjoy water I think humans really love being near water and water should be a beautiful thing and this this creek has been kind of industrialized it looks like a drainage ditch or something but it's really a natural creek and when we get done with this uh, thanks to the artwork from the Public Arts Commission that that they got an internet or a national competition and you're going to be very happy. Uh, of course, we've had the public involved in the design of this from the very beginning. So what, you, what you're going to see here is what the public said they wanted. So I'll give it back to Bill. Thank you. 
Thank you for those comments, Mayor. Uh, next, to talk a little more about the history of the Boneyard, um, we have Council Member Ward 5, Dennis Roberts. Thank you very much. I just thought it would be an appropriate time to, uh, you know, kind of commemorate um, some of the history of the community that has occurred here along the Boneyard. Uh, this is a, you know, Urbana was a founded at the edge of uh, the big grove, and the creek was a significant part of uh, establishing a community here. It provided water, and as we know, uh, reading um, uh, Joe Cunningham, uh, we that this was like a campground for the Indians. The Potawatomi and the Delaware and other Indians that used to live here. And uh, it's also really significant for the history of the city that uh, uh, Isaac Busey's cabin was located very along the Boneyard Creek. It was uh, in a position that was perhaps um, closer to the behind the Courier Cafe currently. Um, but it was situated right here along the creek. Part of our history is an important um, you know, due to the, the, fact, the fact that Isaac Busick was one of the first persons to donate property to the establishment of the city and the first city plat that was occurred was mostly on his property and also uh, the Weber property. And Isaac Busick uh, bought his cabin from the original settler who came here, uh, William Tompkins, and he bought the cabin in 1831. And then by 1833, uh, uh, the city of Urbana was created. This is also the site along these shores of the creek of uh, the home and birthplace of Chief Shamonger, who was a Potawatomi uh, Indian of very uh, high regard held by the early settlers. They were a friendly uh, group of uh, Indian tribes that uh, the settlers uh, depended upon uh, occasionally for um, uh, guidance and uh, direction in the area. And, were, and uh, Chief Shamonger always said that he had been born under a hickory tree that grew along the creek, and uh, early pioneers say that the hickory, the hickory tree was located very close to where currently the Knights of Pythias house is, which would basically be along Main Street and a little bit west of Market. So uh, this is like a very significant downtown location too along the Boneyard Creek. The creek is like one of the most significant features of our landscape. You know, here we don't have any hills or mountains, but the creek is here. And to embrace the creek and make it a beautiful place once again, where the public can enjoy, um, you know, the, uh, the natural waterway as, as we recreate a park-like structure and a, a walking path along the creek is gonna be one of the great amenities of our city. And I really am uh, proud to be part of the, uh, uh, the initial groundbreaking uh, process. So, and I'm, I'm going to give this back to Bill Gray. Thanks, Dennis, for those words. Um, next, I'd like to introduce Pat Salmon uh, with the Urbana Public Arts Commission, and uh, she'd like to share some words with you. Okay, thanks. Thanks for coming, everybody. Um, in case you're not familiar with the commission, uh, the Urbana Public Arts Program and Commission were established by the Urbana City Council in 2008 to engage its to foster a city in which all residents may engage with the arts. Uh, with the coming of the Boneyard Creek Beautification Project, the Commission saw a wonderful opportunity to work together with the builders from the ground up to incorporate public art into what will hopefully become a village green for downtown Urbana. The City Council generously agreed to allot 1% of the original budgeted construction cost for public art, which allowed us to hire a nationally known artist, Jack Mackey, to create original art that will be enhancing the Boneyard area for years to come. Jack's work is based on our local ecology and it will be reflected in the wall liners, wall tiles, and sandblasted pavers that are going to be along the creek. I'd like to thank everybody who is involved in the art portion of this project. Uh, this starts with all the Urbana citizens who attended plan review meetings to comment on the Boneyard Creek project, and there were lots of them. Uh, Jeffrey Bant and Marianne Winklemus from the Boneyard Creek Beautification Project Subcommittee who collected the comments, selected the artist for the project, and gave him guidance. Jack Mackey for spending a lot of time learn learning about our community and working to fit his great ideas into our allotted budget. The Urbana City Council for funding the art and approving the designs. The Champaign County Design and Conservation Foundation for donating to support the wall tile design and the stone markers that will be on Broadway Avenue. And finally, the Urbana Public Works Department 
and the design team of Foth Infrastructure and Environment, Wank Associates, and O'Neill Brothers for their cooperation assistance. And I know we'll all be looking forward to June 2014 when we can see the final results. Thanks. Thank you, Pat. There's one more person I'd like to ask to come forward, and um, there's many people that have been waiting for this day, but perhaps no one quite as long as, um, Alan, if you'd step forward here for a second here, put you on the spot maybe. But um, um, maybe, I think Alan might be pinching himself that this day has actually come here, but um, um, there are many folks that are very interested in this project, and I think Alan would like to share a few words. So, Alan? I was hoping you wouldn't do that. <laughs> Well, I was prepared to uh, present a long and boring speech, but my wife said, you can't do that. So I tried to think about the 22 years that I've been pushing this project forward. I can't tell you how many committees I've sat on and how many meetings we've gone to and how many variations of the theme we've, we've watched happen. So this coming to fruition is really exciting for us. Um, I've always been proud that the Courier Cafe sits on the land that was original cabin to Urbana and when I developed the uh, building, which is now Silver Creek, Silver Creek seemed to be the perfect name for the theme of our restaurant because it sat on the shimmering waters of a gentle creek that meandered its way through Urbana and campus. And if you've gone to Silver Creek, you'll notice in the entryway a map from the 1871 U of I Industrial College. And if you look on there carefully, you'll see a little creek that passes through and it's named Silver Creek. Silver Creek was the original name of the Boneyard, and then somewhere along the way, students kind of renamed it, and it's been the Boneyard since. But maybe we'll do such a good job on this project that uh, we can have a uh, referendum to rename it Silver Creek. So anyway, we're excited about, about this coming to fruition, and um, thank everybody in the city and uh, who worked hard at this, and all the volunteers that presented their thoughts and ideas at meetings, and uh, we're just real excited about this coming coming to fruition so thank you thanks Alan for sharing those words um, yes a lot of thanks go to a lot of people but um, as public works director and city engineer I really have a, a debt of gratitude for certainly our city council and their foresight and vision to support this project to direct tax increment financing dollars for this project to occur so their leadership their vision here is, is very important. Secondly, um, the consultant team, along with the construction team, I want to thank them. Um, we took bids. The bids came in a little higher than our budget would allow. And through about two and a half, three months of diligent effort, willingness to roll up our sleeves, to come to a, a budget, uh, excuse me, a project under our budget, within our budget, is very much helpful. I think you're still going to be very proud of the end result when it's done. But uh, in the beginning, I thought, oh boy, you know, this, this was a little bit of a setback, but we were able to work it through. And then lastly, with my uh, the public works staff, the city staff, community development, public works, uh, worked a lot of hours in, in putting this together, a lot of meetings, and I want to thank you all for doing this too. And um, with that, uh, it's time to do a little uh, ceremonial uh, shovel in the ground, hard hat. Yeah.